Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Destiny Bond here with a uh, second gen uh, Little Cup battle. I decided to do something different. So that's up against my good buddy uh, Pidgeot Tamer. Um, I guess he decided he wanted a Little Cup battle, so I'm just like, you know, why not? So I, you know, grabbed some Pokemon, and uh, here we are. Um, it, it was a really interesting one because I there were some move. I pulled off a couple moves that I didn't really think that were gonna work, but um, you have to see that in the video. So let's get this rolling. So um. He's going to lead off with a uh, Zubat, and I kind of didn't really think about what it was going to do. I didn't really plan on anything, so the first thing I did was just go for the Ancient Power. And since he's faster, he's going to go for a Thief, and he's going to take my Thick Club, which is a fantastic play, because um, Thick Club Cubone is ridiculous, like honestly. So I hit him with the Ancient Power, and it still does a pretty decent amount. Um, you know, it probably would have took him out if I still had my Thick Club. But he's going to go for a protect, uh, predicting me to go into another um, ancient power because I'm guess he wants to save the zoo, uh, the zoo bat for later. But I guess I don't really know. I mean, the bet I started, I don't know. I don't really know what to expect from the zoo bat. It's, it's just all I've so far was just take my item, which I really needed badly. So then I find out that he has a Giga Drain, which is definitely going to hurt my Cubone and possibly a certain other. Uh, person on my team, it's just a total dial, but I'm not going to use it this battle as you'll see. I'm going to go for another instrument power, and I don't know why it didn't take out this uh, Zubat. I really don't know why at all. I'm so con I was so confused. So he's going to finish me off with a Giga Drain, and he will. Like, I, I'm still scratching my head why it lived my ancient power. I still don't understand, but I'll have to learn later on. I was debating on going into my Magby or my total dial, but I decided to go into my Dratini. As you'll see, and you know, since Dratini he has a uh, extreme speed now, this is a sort of a custom set Dratini, but he's going to go for a protect when I should have predicted that and just gone for the agility because that would have just it easily swept most of his team. But I, there was another person that actually swept most of his team, but you'll see that later on. I actually ended up going for the agility because I knew I can live a Giga Drain or whatever else that was going to come at me, like a wing attack, but he's going to go for a Confuse Ray. Which is a good play in his part, but then again, not a good play because I do have the Miracle Berry just in case. Um, but it allows me to go for the agility, so that means that I will be faster than the Zubat completely. So this means that I can just go for the Icy Wind, or I can just go on for the Hidden Power Thunder, but I'm going to go for the Icy Wind instead, just in case we didn't kill it. Um, so that the speed would be lower, but it doesn't really matter. But I do end up taking out the Zubat, which is good because it would have killed sort of annoying. So anyway, I was just waiting for him to choose his next Pokemon. I was I was sort of ready just for anything since I set up the agility. Um, but he's going to go into his uh, Chinchu, I think this thing's called. I'm sort of walled because Chinchus, they have some defense. And like I said, Icy Wind is not very effective against water types. And he's going to go for the Ice Beam, which is definitely going to hit me hard. Um, Hidden Power Thunder, I knew it wouldn't do as much, but I figured it would do more than... Um, extreme speed it sort of did sort of didn't but he's gonna finish me off with another ice beam because I, I didn't really want to switch into anything else at the, uh, at the time so at this time I'm just gonna go into my Voltorb um, my main my MVP of the of the game for today because I'm because I figured he was gonna switch out so that means that I can just easily set up a raid dance and just sweep through most of his team so that's exactly what I'm going to do because he will withdraw and he's gonna go into um, is Onyx, which is fine by me, even if it is banned, because I I had something just for this Onyx. So I will start a uh, I will go for the Rain Dance, and this gives me a perfect opportunity to go for the Hidden Power of Water, because I don't know if it was boosted or not. But that is just easily going to take down this Onyx like it was nothing. Like this Onyx didn't do it didn't touch me. All it did was just look at me, ugly. But I with with the Rain Dance up, I was ready to take on most of his team because I had the Thunder and since um, I had the Rain Dance up, Thunder gets a full 100, 100 accuracy which is good. So he's going to go into his uh, Magby and I'm going to go for Hidden Power Water to see if it can uh, take it down. It does not It does a lot of damage to this Magby but it doesn't necessarily take it down. He's going to go for the Flamethrower but it's not going to do as much but it will burn me which is good. Which is kind of bad for me because I do I, I have the explosion which I'm going to need for later on just in case but um, I will go for the thunder so I don't have to waste another hidden power 
water. But he's gonna switch out. And he's gonna go into his uh, scyther, and I didn't, I didn't mean to predict the switch. I really didn't. But like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna literally take down this scyther with a simple thunder, and that's the second, like, sort of banned Pokemon that didn't touch me this entire match. So now he's gonna go into his um, Shinshu because I was kind of thinking he was gonna go for like a Surf or a Hydro Pump or something. But um, that's really not going to be the case because, as you'll see, I'm going to go for another Thunder. Um, I was thinking I was going to take it down, but he lives it. I don't understand how he lived that, but he's going to go for the Thunderbolt. I don't know why he went for the Thunderbolt. I really don't. It didn't really do as much, but the rain stops, which is bad because now I'm basically just a normal Vortorb. And I'm just going to try to take this thing down with the Hidden Power Water. Um, he didn't, I don't think that he really knew that I had, had Hidden Power Water, he thought I had, like, Ground, but I really don't, it's just Hidden Power Water, that's why I took down, uh, Onyx, but, uh, yeah, so that's basically the third Pokemon that's been added to the hit list of, uh, Voltorb, and now he brings in his, uh, Abra, which is a good thing because I kind of, I'm kind of done with this, uh, Voltorb, it did what it needed to do, so I'm just gonna go for the Explosion, and I do end up taking down the Abra, um, which is great because it was a huge threat to my team. And Voltor was a huge threat to his team, so I'm, this gives me an opportunity to go for the go into my Magby. And that will be the end of the game because he will have a already hurt Magby, and I am surprisingly faster. I do go for Hidden Power Water, and that will be a good game. So good game, bro. Um, more Little Cup battles to come, second gen. Um, keep spreading these videos, guys, and, uh, yeah, hopefully everyone has a good day, um, happy Sunday, and I will see you guys later. Peace.